Recently, former porn star Brie Olsen came out and said that even though she's left the porn industry, society treats her like a pedophile. She can't get a normal job, and whenever she befriends someone, they break off contact once they learn about her past. Companies are allowed to turn you down for work because of anything they want, and you, you know, they have morality clauses. You can never work with children after you do porn. You can never work in a medical field after you do porn. And these are things that teenage girls don't think about. You think that you're a teenager, it's fun, you're making money, and that's the truth. It is, and there's nothing wrong with porn, but how people treat you for the rest of your life, it's not worth it. So let's take a look at some of the most common reactions to this video. People are never going to treat you like a person because you got fucked for a living. Slut, 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 slut. I have no respect for this bimbo because she got pounded by more guys than the amount of leaves on my front lawn and half of those guys were black. Well, if you can't take the consequences, why did you do porn to begin with? Did you think everyone was gonna show you respect after seeing you get pounded by a massive dick on some video? Got your daughter sucking dick on videotape. Yeah, because most guys just hate porn, right? I mean, most guys would do anything they can to stay away from images of naked women. Right? If porn stars didn't exist, you wouldn't be able to jack off to their porn. You do realize that the only reason porn even exists to begin with is because so many people, including yourself, are willing to consume it. Where there is no demand, there will be no supply. But what did you know? Actions have consequences. So the action of providing men with what they desperately want to see has the inevitable consequence of being despised by the very same men. If that doesn't qualify as blatant misogyny, I don't really know what does. And the argument of taking the consequences is a rather interesting one as well, because the implication there is that no woman ever should do pornography. Because if they do, then society isn't gonna be very nice towards them afterwards. So that's seriously what you're arguing for. No more naked girls. Like, that's it. That's what you want to happen. Or maybe you're just mad that a woman is challenging society's puritanical bullshit. Now, some people don't watch porn at all, and they judge porn stars too. But at least they're not hypocrites. They're just dumb. <laughs> they can't even explain why they think like they do. Instead, they just throw out these mindless buzzwords like... Morality! I haven't seen anyone make a rational argument to why it's a bad thing to be a sex worker or a sexually promiscuous woman in general, aka slut. They just blabber on with some abstract bullshit about self-respect. Well, self-respect is a convenient term, right? It's kind of like racist. It's something you can blurt out when you can't think of an actual argument. And here, essentially, all you're just saying is, I know this person doesn't hurt anybody with what they're doing, but they don't adhere to my personal preferences and beliefs. And they should be ashamed because they are different from me. Sluts are awesome because they refuse to apologize for having been born with a cunt. Everyone likes sex and sluts make sure to spread orgasms all over the world. If that isn't a favor to mankind, I don't know what is. They're like magical fairies spreading joy and positivity. And it's funny how so many God-fearing Christians love to shit on this woman, despite the fact their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, hung out with sex workers all the time. He didn't exactly advocate that judgmental attitude of yours. Then we have this ridiculous idea that Porn stars don't have any self-respect. Well, how would you know? Stop thinking that you're a fucking mutant. You can't read other people's minds, and you don't even know the person that you're claiming to be an expert on. Obviously, you're not degrading yourself if you're doing what you actually want to do in life. Rather, that proves you've understood that life shouldn't be wasted on other people's narrow-minded judgmental bullshit. And wouldn't it be more degrading towards yourself to not do what you really want to do in life and go against 
against your own will just to satisfy the whims of others? What I see when I look at porn stars is women valuing themselves higher than society's hypocritical view on sex. And if I have to choose, I'd say that's a sign of strength rather than weakness. Just imagine respecting yourself to the degree that you actually live out your desires. That's not something most people do. Most people are so dumb, they don't even realize they're going to die at some point. So they live their entire life according to other people's personal taste. And it's first when they're lying on their deathbed that they understand that their life was wasted. The most common regret with dying patients was not having the courage to live life according to your own will and your own desires. And once the showed porn stars exhibit higher self-esteem and quality of life than non-porn stars. Not really the characteristic of someone who lacks self-respect. But the most amazing thing here is that this is supposed to be the civilized western world speaking. Yet it's the same regressive dated outlook on female sexuality as the Middle East. The western world is in a pretty sad fucking state when a porn star is considered to be as harmful to society and other people as a child rapist. It really goes to show that Americans are just as retarded as the Muslim world they despise. This woman isn't given the opportunity to a normal job and social connection solely because she had sex in front of a camera. Where's the fucking logic in that? It's nothing short of insane that this video about a woman who's had plenty of sex meets the same amount of hateful comments that you'd see on a news article about a suicide bomber. This amazing American double standard. Go fight a war simply to make your politicians richer than they already are and people will see you as a hero soldier. But as soon as you fuck in front of a camera, you're a bitch with no self-worth. Ooh, you're someone who deserves to be humiliated. The same country that admires people who kill for a living is gonna shame people who fuck for a living. What kind of moral foundation is that? Tell me, what's the worst influence on the world? Murder? or consensual sex. And just to be clear, I don't have a problem with soldiers fighting to defend their own country. I do have a problem with soldiers invading someone else's country at the command of their corrupt leaders. Just to be clear. But porn stars, they ruin society because they're bad role models for children. Because of them, someone's kids might become sex workers or promiscuous. Anytime I hear someone complain about bad role models, I just wonder, why don't you teach your kids how to think for themselves? Bad role models wouldn't be a problem if you taught kids how to depend on their own morality. Why are you raising your children to be such mindless sheep who are so lacking in personality that they try to mindlessly imitate someone else? If you think that bad role models are a society issue, then you're actually just unwilling to acknowledge that you're a shitty fucking parent who couldn't raise an individual. You're the one who failed, not the sex workers. But hey, Aurora, it's immoral to be a porn star. No, an immoral act would be hurting someone else or depriving them of their liberty. I have yet to see someone make a rational, logical argument to why doing porn would be immoral. Some people would argue that, well, she's hurting her family and her loved ones with her behavior. Imagine if the adult daughter of a radical Muslim family decided to leave Islam and live as a Western woman. She would break her family's hearts. Has she acted immorally by choosing to live her own life as she wants to? The whole hurting your parents argument essentially just means your parents are really dumb. When you reach a certain level of idiocy and narrow-mindedness, everything becomes hurtful to you. If your parents want you to become an astrophysicist, but you become a boxer instead, that's hurting the parents too. Because, oh well, I wish you would follow in my footsteps, son, because after all, that's why I created you. You're not supposed to have free will and be your own person. You're supposed to be a copy of me, you useless fucking sperm. Why aren't you my slave, you useless fucking sperm? A woman's freedom of choice matters more than the irrational sensibilities of her family. There is no rational basis for why being a whore would be shameful. It's just the brain-dead norms society has inherited from its religious past. And some of you just aren't smart enough to look beyond your cultural programming and think for yourselves. Porn is nothing less than a service to the community. 
If you're born as a hot girl, you don't have to take your clothes off. You don't have to get naked and show everyone what they have been envisioning while you were having your clothes on. But yet you choose to do that anyway. And that, that, that is an act of kindness. Goodness. It is a good gesture which spreads joy and pleasure over the world. And I... I am genuinely grateful for those women. Because seeing women naked enhances my life. The same way that music or movies enhance my life. Why would I disrespect those who offer me joy and pleasure? People choose to dehumanize certain women simply because they don't fit into their stagnated religious view on gender roles. So you're basically getting offended by a woman exercising her own sexuality. Your so-called lack of respect is entirely founded upon you being a moron. It's not based on the woman actually having done something bad. And some even want to claim that it's because of porn stars that society has a degrading view of women. No. What's degrading towards women is the notion that a woman should be defined only by her cunt. What's degrading is the idea that all her other skills and talents, her dreams and aspirations, and whether or not she is a kind person in her day-to-day -day life, all of that becomes irrelevant. Because she, as a person, does not matter. The amount of people that she fucked is the only thing that matters. That is a fucking degrading view of women. Porn stars do not create misogyny. People like you do. 